okay, <laughs> doing a short pre-stream because, well, my Bluetooth was being a bastard again. So, yeah, ahoy everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Faisal Lieutenant Drakir at your service. And... Gunnery mate. Um... <laughs> and welcome back to L.A. Noir for the actual fifth episode this time. <laughs> Since, uh, well, last time we tried to stream this, uh, ROM was indisposed. So, yeah, we swapped over to Dave the Diver instead. So, let's resume. Uh... Hmm? Okay, okay, well, well, sorry, I, um... I breathe wrong and... The muscles... And my muscles just fucked with me. Ew. Okay, uh, if that happens again, we probably should call it off, but, uh, yeah. Nah, that uh, doesn't happen anyways. Uh, let's see, so who do you want to... We'll work the evidence, Rusty. Let him do the rest. Uh, let's but, see. Let's go grab my food. I have my headphones on, so I can ready? hear. Molars in two and the perverts in one. Get in there and get a conviction. Okay, it seems it didn't save since last time, so we can get to do with this again. Uh, we were on our way to interview Eli Rooney. Yes, folks, I know. Give me a second, this I need to use the bathroom, you guys. Let the cutscene run. I have tried okay. to reaffirm his belief in a wrathful and terrible God. Whichever way it goes, I'll be dealing personally with him. Okay. Uh, I guess we could up. <laughs> I guess this means that the uh, 4.1 episode doesn't hold anything like special or new. You see me asking for your sympathy, boy? So, okay, I'll, I'll also need stop. the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I was originally planning to put the uh, previous parts we streamed of this to just stick it to the front of the VOD of this one, but seeing as it's not actually do. Seeing as it didn't save, and thus we're going to show the same thing as was shown then, I'll just upload it as a separate thing uh, with a note uh, that no actual missed progress uh, will be made in this. Uh, feel free to skip to the next. Okay, but now we should probably wait on those two. Guess it'll give me a bit of time to get some water. I've done 14 years in and out of prison, son. You think you can outweigh me? You're wrong. <clears throat> yeah, they, they, they'll, they'll comment if we don't uh, ask questions. Uh, yeah, to explain a bit what, what is going on with my computer's uh, <clears throat> Bluetooth is that it has an internal receiver, which doesn't really seem to be functioning correctly. Uh, but absolutely refuses to be removed. Uh, not physically, I mean, but the hard, the software for it. Just whenever I turn it, whenever I uninstall it in the device manager, it keeps reinstalling itself constantly. And yeah, then there's also the Bluetooth dongle that I got my hands on, which does function correctly, but it seems the two get into an argument every now and then. So I need to. Years in and out of prison, son. So I need to, uh, yeah, resolve the dispute there, which typically involves just uninstalling the internal driver or the in internal Bluetooth driver over and over and over again until it gets the freaking point to just cut the shit out. Um, and for the the Bluetooth dongle to uh, well settle in. But this time we just absolutely refused until I just disabled the internal one. And then it did work. So hopefully that will help resolve further Bluetooth issues. <clears throat> uh, beyond that, I've uh, pretty much disabled all of the other connected things to the power hub, like the uh, charging cable for my wireless headset and the cable for the <clears throat> external storage uh SSD that I have, a five terabyte one where I'm, I'm putting all of my the stream vods on, uh, the old ones and all recent ones, and still have plenty of space on it. And so yeah, the only thing that are currently powered are the Bluetooth dongle and the two SSDs with games installed uh, on them. Welcome back. Uh, I'm back. What the heck has happened there? 
I think I just wanted an arrow something for that to happen. I don't even think I sip from a drink yet. Yeah, uh, I think swallowing air is called breathing. Like a breather? <laughs> no, breathing. Oh, breathing. But yeah, one thing uh, I've noticed that is different now with most things turned off is that my Bluetooth headset has a lot or gets a lot more range now and a lot less interference. So yeah, turning extra stuff on, unneeded stuff off on it does help a lot, which probably every 15 year old on the planet probably could have figured out before me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm old. <clears throat> there, there. Okay, just waiting on ROM. Uh, let's see, yeah. Uh, Eli Rooney, we caught near the, where the the car was dumped. We found a we found a jumpsuit uh, in the car that was bloody. We and we also found a uh, rope and a tire iron that were both bloodied. And the type of rope that's then the rope was the type that matches to the uh, wounds on the victim. Though then you do have to question why strangle them with a rope. And beat them to death with a tire iron? That, that seems a bit uh, excessive. Oh. Yep, welcome back. Yep, welcome back. I'm back. I gotta set this fucking thing around. Anyways, uh, last I checked, the Black Dahlia killer was not so what? So fucking knows. Yeah. Okay. We're starting with Eli yeah, Rooney. Yeah. Shut up, Wrong. you. Or we're adding it, or we're adding another black eye to that. What size boot do you wear, Eli? Kind of like anything I can get my hands on. I'm wearing Elevens. Okay, uh, actually, he's we've lying. done this. Uh, uh, go ahead. He's li He's lying. Well, you've already he's done lying. this, so let's just. Uh, yeah, let's just skip through this then. Uh, let's see. Foot. This was footprints, so that is a doubt. You're maybe 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, tops. And you wear size 11s? I don't think so, Eli. That might be on the large side. Maybe 10s. Maybe 8s. Now that I come to think of it. Why punish children with your iniquity, Eli? You think I was never punished? You must know what you're doing is evil. Well, son, nobody's perfect. Yeah. I'd, I'd say that statement just makes this guy ten times worse than people who delude themselves into thinking they are not. You're down on your luck, Eli. I had worse. My family a roadkill during Thank the you. Dust Bowl. But you have a job. A parolee has to have a job, correct? I had me a job down in San Pedro. I'm looking for something new. This place you worked have a name? Hennessy Marine. You can't miss place. Big yellow letters HM out front. They give you any work wear, Eli? Sure. Green coverall. Dang thing was hot. Felt like I was back in the pen wearing it. Okay, that matches to the coverall that we found. Uh, coveralls, overalls, these. Green work overalls stained with blood, stenciled with initials HM. Like you can see, it's on the, the <clears throat> on the left uh, chest. Yep. Uh, no, no, did not mean it. And you're leaving. In and out of prison, son. It did not mean to do that. Wait me. You're wrong. Okay. Access to braided rope. If the you ever tie up any of your victims, Eli? One, two, it's not a nice thing to go call them that. What would you call them? I can't say. Ugh. I learned a long time ago not to go talk about the things I like. Talking about it just seems to get people's dander up. Answer the goddamn question, Rooney, before I brain you. See what I mean? Short answers. I mean, Dusty yes. was you about to execute him rope, Eli? when we arrested I know him. A good rope from a bad rope. Yeah, that's honestly, I'm mean. regretting not letting him. That's not what you mean, is it? Yeah. Any old rope will do me fine. Farm boy like you, Eli, must prefer McGay for roping. Am I right? I prefer braid. Tie hitching braid stays tight. 
Yeah, and then motive for Mahler murder, because that's the odd thing. We have evidence, we found him near evidence, but what sort of motive might he have, other than maybe having been caught by uh, Miss Mahler? You killed Mrs. Mahler and stole her jewelry. That ain't so. Ain't done nothing like that. You have no job and nowhere to live by the smell of things, and you need money. You've been in trouble before, Eli. Who do you think a jury will believe? I've been in trouble for other things, but I ain't never killed no one. I saw that car coming to the parking lot late last night. Man got changed there and put his coveralls in the trunk. I saw him drop the butterfly in the lamplight, and he strolled out, cool as you like. And I went over and I picked it up. Okay, now we can charge him. You're as good as done, Mr. Rooney. All it will take now is some paperwork. But we still have someone Fine, else. Honey, Hugo Moll is our number one suspect. I mean, the evidence is solid. I think it's time we hit him with it. Okay, apparently Rusty is yeah, also yeah. getting rusty with the subtitles. The yes, I will probably keep making that pun it. till the end of days with this game. Here's where we stand, Hugo. Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. You were burning your blood-stained shoes. You have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. We have everything we need to send you to death row. And all you have to say for yourself is, I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill her. Give me that lie test. I can prove it. Yeah, too bad for you. Lie detector tests are not admissible anymore. And we're never really accurate. Because it, it measures more how nervous someone is than if they're lying or not. And, well, when you're getting pressured on stuff, you're going to get nervous. Okay. Let's see then. Why did you burn your shoes, Hugo? Because I knew you'd never believe me. That is the truth. Believe what? It's rabbit's blood. A guy at work brought him in and I helped him skin them. Okay. Do you know anything With about rabbit ropes? blood? You, you literally could have just told us. The given that I, I was a scout. I yeah, was but now that it's burned, it can't be tested because it's been denaturized or something. It's it's the, the, the DNA is too damaged to test what it might be. But the thing is, if the the officers find the blood, like you basically made yourself more suspicious by burning him, instead of just telling them everything and even mentioning yes i do have a pair of bloody shoes and yes i'll go to the police with you just take them and let fucking forensics basically check and go it's actually rabbit blood yeah but by being yeah. idiots and trying to burn them right after he well destroyed the that uh, destroyed possibly exonerating evidence and only made himself look guilty Plus, stupids yeah. for, well, why, doing why it with, <laughs> right when the cops turn their freaking backs. Yeah, and also, so, I just wanna, was the DNA testing rather new in this era? So you yeah. might be not aware, aware of that uh, technique. Could be, but it was at least good enough to di differentiate between human blood and animal blood, because we had that earlier case where we confirmed that the car was filled with pig blood. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I mean, like, uh, public knowledge, in that yeah. matter. Uh, let's see, access to rope, doubt. You learned to strangle with the rope in the army? With rope, with uh, my bare hands, but mainly with wire. I learned a lot of things in the army, but I, I still didn't kill my wife. For argument's sake, what type of rope would you use? If I had to, I would use a triple braid. Less flex, easier to control. The same type of rope that we found, and the same type of rope that our other guy would have th theoretically, between quotation marks, used. Your wife was beaten with a tire iron, Hugo. An appropriate choice of tool for a mechanic. I know nothing about any tire iron. And this is a lie because we You're found lying, one. Hugo. You're gonna have to come clean on this. You got no proof. Actually, we do. Your wife drove a Chevrolet, Hugo. What make of car do you drive? A Chrysler Airflow. 
So I guess that explains why the tie iron that killed your wife came from a Chrysler. Okay. And last but not least, well, definitely last. We found your wife's car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It wasn't me. Where do you keep your work clothes? I keep them at work in my locker. Actually... Enough lies, Hugo. <laughs> your overalls put you at the scene of the crime last night. My overalls are in the laundry of my house. Should we be able to check that? Uh, they could send someone over to go check their house, but that's uh, not our job. Our job right now is to... Okay, you can back out of an accusation, according to the tip in the upper left just now. But yeah, we found these with his initials in the car. Green overalls, bloodstained, with the initials HM, found in the trunk of your wife's car. They can't be mine. Why, Hugo? Because if they were yours, they'd be in the incinerator, too. So the question is, which of the two do we charge? We have enough evidence yeah, to get either of them. Okay, so yeah, either it's... we charge yep. the husband, who is known as a violent man, or we charge the pedophile. And that one really doesn't require me to elaborate. Yeah. He did say... Does he say something there? He may have burned... The, the witness that saw him burn the shoes said he did burn something else as well. But why did he burn the overall, though, then? Good points. And yeah, we can't identify who exactly wore those overalls. So it, they could be Hugo's, or they could be from that other, from that company with the initials HM. And I forget if the I forget if we saw if the, the there's also just a big HM on the back or not. If that were the case, it would be more likely that it was a company overall and not just a personalized one. So were we were we able to double check that? Uh, we only get a front view of it in the evidence that we see. Hmm. So, voting time then. We can only charge one, one or the other, not both, and one will walk free. So, do we charge the pedo, who has been a known nuisance, nuisance being a major understatement, who was found with the victim jewelry near the car of the victim, which had, well, all the bloody evidence in it, literally and figuratively. Or do we charge the husband, who, beyond being a domestic, uh, having at least abuse. one case of domestic abuse, a, one known case at least, uh, but otherwise seems to have, well, be more an idiot than fully malicious. But it is still a coin toss which of the two did it. So, votes? That's the pedo. Wait, what? Oh. Pedo. Arrest the pedo. Oh, okay. Yeah, your, your mic cut out for half a second during I there. Fucking get, my mic. <laughs> this fucking thing hates me. I swear <laughs> to God, every time I talk, it hates me. Okay, and Rakir? Will it be a tiebreaker or will it be unanimous? Uh, for. I might be on wrong with this one for... No. Hmm. No. I, I just realized. If, if this guy did kill his wife, and he came home in his car and got out, people could see the bloody overall then. Yeah, though... It, no, he could just take it off and roll it up. Yeah, the, the other still, guy... Hmm. The other guy says that they saw someone come out of the car and put the overalls in, but there's just as good a chance that he's lying out of his teeth, of course. Through his teeth, but yeah, yeah. So that is very shaky, quote unquote, evidence. Yeah, on both of them. Like, the, the, it, it, is this one of those uh, those that the developers left vague, or is there actual confirmation which one did it? No comments. For God, no. 
He knows. <laughs> oh, sir. <laughs> where does your vote come from? <laughs> I vote the same as Rom. Then Hugo will walk free today, and his daughter will not become an orphan. Okay. Time to nail a pest to the roll. And then you don't like what we're going to say. Eli Rooney, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Deirdre Muller. You want to put me back in the stir that badly, boy? You go ahead and try. I'll beat that rat. I ain't a killer. I mean, in a way, you're worse. I'm pretty sure the, I'm pretty sure the guys in the cells are gonna have some fun with you before anything. Yeah, Rusty might be an asshole, but he's not that bad of a motherfucker. Ah, uh, Phelps, Galloway. Congratulations are at hand. Drink, boys? I think you'll receive a commendation for this one, gentlemen. In the meantime, I'll speak to the DA about expediting the passage of the case. We need swift and merciless justice for poor Deirdre. I will note that if we charged Hugo, Hugo uh, he would not have been as pleased with us. Though if that makes him the wrong, right or wrong choice, we will find out later, perhaps. Eli, Eli you can yep. expect a warm welcome from Captain Donnelly and the DA. Oh. Five stars and zero damage for once. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Oh. Belt! We captured two regular army. Lieutenant! Belt, we've been over this. That sniper barely missed you back on the beach. Until the mission is over, there'll be no more saluting or signs of rank. I'm in charge here, Medier! Do you wish to interrogate the prisoners? I know they're beat. Why they look so sullen. They're wondering why we haven't killed them yet. There is no greater shame than being taken prisoner. Get this golden boy, I just seem to know what he's doing. I don't 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 See that boy? He slapped that jap right upside the head. It was merely to remind him of his place. His shame was the tone of voice that he used with a superior. I respect the Japanese, Corporal. Respect, we're here to kill the sons of bitches. Do you know why we're fighting the Japanese, Private? With respect, sir. These bastards attacked Pearl Harbor. And why did they attack Pearl, Private? Because they hate the U.S. of A and our way of life. They attacked the U.S. because we cut off their oil. What would we do if another country denied us the gas to run our cars? And they have no answer to that. Yeah, not to excuse all and all of this shit that Imperial Japan did. But, uh, yeah, it was not simply because they hate us, as a lot of people would say. Ah, Phelps. I was just discussing with Finbar here how well he was Also, doing. another fun fact. In the middle of a battlefield, you do not yeah, want to be called by your rank. And you just forget all about it. Because then you become you a good target for snipers. A Pretty much. A Hispanic woman murdered near City Hall and left lying naked in an alleyway. Another naked woman, sir? Yes. We seem to have had quite a run of them since the Dahlia fiend first struck. Phelps is politely trying to hint that he thinks the Mendes case is hokey. Well, young Phelps, you win some and you lose some in police work. You're happy with the Muller case, sir? Over the moon, boys! The DA couldn't be more pleased with the evidence, the witness, and the lack of an alibi. Now, get out there and catch me another sin. Okay, Phelps was biting his tongue perhaps a bit literally there. <laughs> of course. Okay. Uh, can I cheat it out a bit? You can drive. You know the way. There we go. You can drive. 
Okay, uh, yeah, I installed a plugin that should allow me to not have to edit have so much afterwards. Most guys would kill to land a case so close to their death. Yeah, it means they can pop in to hit the office supply of hooch whenever they need it. You know, that ain't a bad idea. That is not a bad idea at all. Shut up, Rusty. But yeah, I have a plugin that allows me to do this to the footage now. So uh, yeah, that'll save me a lot of editing work. And I should probably keep it on right um, now because I recognize this. Uh, Detectives. They're ready to start the show. Uh, I'll take you through. Okay. Yeah, let me just turn that back on. This is mostly for, well, Twitch and uh, YouTube sensitivity with uh, certain aspects oh, of the human anatomy. Brothers, Pinker. Cause of death is pretty apparent. Oh, only now everything's blurry, so this is just going to be the when you're strangest ready. moment of... Yeah. I just realized, hang on... At least this will be better than a black screen, huh? <laughs> Even though it yeah, looks like yeah. we're looking through jam jars. Okay. Investigation of the body. Let's see. Is the blood BD? And I don't I don't think I need to say anything about the state of the body with uh, all of the reds. Hey, we, we all, we Lacerations all on the deep. neck would indicate a great deal of force. Yeah, that's deep. That's almost to the bone, I guess. Uh, oh, clicked out of the game accidentally. Uh, Kiss the blood, BD. Okay. Anything on the hand? Oh, hello. Only 21 years old. Why the library card? Did he want us to find it? Okay. July 7th, 1926. Public library card. Antonia? Okay, not sure if that is a last name or place of residence. Let's check the other arm. And another ring that's gone. Oh yeah, another that's skin. Skin under the fingernails. Okay, let's leave that be and move away from that. The evidence in the Muller case was solid. I'm not convinced about Mendez. The best way to get away with murder is to pin it on somebody else. I'll bet a month's salary this is a copycat. Strangle, batter. Yeah, damn. yeah, yeah. We know the MO. So does every jerk who kills his wife and girlfriend looking for a way out. I've spoken to Brown. He still believes the Dahlia perp has medical experience. Four women, all murdered, all put on display, all with messages. Muller had no message. Look, Phelps, this is getting us nowhere. Anything for us to go on, Mal? Head injuries from contact with road, bruising from a small man's shoe, further blunt force trauma to the occipital region at the base of the skull. Could have been fatal, but clear signs of strangulation would seem to rule it out. Lipstick appears to be a similar color to the other cases. I'll see if I can nail down a brand. Okay, now let's move a bit. Uh, okay, what's this here? I'm, go I'm going to keep the filter on until we're very much clear of this place. Oh, though I don't think I need to keep it up here. Below the head like the others. She was probably unconscious when strangled. Okay, strangled with a pantyhose. Okay. The silk stocking. Uh, yeah, so stocking. Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay, put it back on and put that back down. And this this Was is mostly just to avoid problems with uh, the sensor folk. Just Come on, and there's something here. No, no daily. This means me and Rome might have all the time to help you spot things. May yeah. Well follow the trail. Okay. Just in, okay. Okay, I just... I don't know if the camera is going to do a flip or anything when going out of interactions like that. Okay, Rusty found something. 
And I don't think this is going to be anything. It's just junk. I'm not kidding, Phelps. Come see. Actually, now. Phelps isn't saying anything. Okay. Weird. Come on. Okay. What's in the alleyway, Rusty? Okay, the trail makes it. Oh, hello, hats. Oh. Antonia. Antonia. Huh? Same as the library card. Okay, that must be last name, I'm guessing. Or her first yeah. name. Yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah, typically when names are written down officially, it is last name, first name, I believe. And this trail goes quite a distance. Let's see then. Against the bloody wall. A shoe. Uh, That's a cop. Yeah. <laughs> That's not going to be of any interest. This, however. Proximity to the scene, plus the bloodstains. No way is this coincidence. Okay. A women's shoe this time. Were they battered with that or something? Either that or they just decided to take it in front of the trash. Mm. Okay, press mm. button. Yep. Come on, stop being picky about this, Phelps. And okay. the blood trail continues. On it goes. Is that a shine over there? Just We kept the area pristine for you boys. Let's check it out. No, we've seen these before, I think. Or no, I think it might. Hmm. Yeah, just mosquito coils to well keep rid of yeah, of them. Hello. To the neck. House keys e. strung up like yeah. bait on a hook. Okay. That is strange. I think he's trying to lead us somewhere. Probably all the way to City Hall, that Bernie's son of a bitch. And this is the first time we've had a long trail like this. And evidence that seems to be purposely left behind. Like the key is just a taunt, unless it's connected, unless it's local to something. Be her house. Hmm. That's got to be a code or a cipher. Okay. Yeah, the Black Dahlia is fucking nice. with the LAPD. Two five. Hmm. It's a cipher. It, it's. Uh. What do you know? There's blood going up. Was she killed by a freaking... I forget which big cat it is that dragged her kill up in a tree. Take us. The Jaguar? Up, up and go. Okay, okay, that's what I've been hearing. Bloody pigeons. Uh, apparently, they dragged the body straight through the pigeon, through the bird coop. Uh, hello, Mrs. A. Mel. Maldonado. 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 Yeah. By. By who? Hand. Empty. Where is all of this meant to be taking us? Yeah, it is. By... He really wants us to find these things. He left them for us. It said something weird. By someone. There you go, Phelps. You got a new M.O. I told you. Yeah. Or he might just be getting more confident. Uh, what's this? Okay, makeup kit. Enameled and gold plated. This was precious to her. Just how did he get all of this blood going? Just, <laughs> did he just carry the corpse the whole way or something? Or it's did he get like a bag? I wonder if he just offs her like on the rooftops and then just drag the body and then just... 
a, it's some faulty towers level bullshit at this point. Yeah. Wait, unless... I'm pretty sure she should have been a dead a few times over from all of these blood trails. Another thing? Uh-oh. Oh. from the finger and hung up here. What's the significance? That's the first ring that we're finding... that we found again. Okay. So, the other rings hey, are still missing, I believe. Jesus Christ, dude! The human body doesn't have this much blood. Uh, oh, that explains. Ah, uh, it's... It's been quite literally painting us a trail. Uh, roll him. I mean, oh, that is disturbing if that... I think she was killed elsewhere and then been... dripped dry of blood. Looks as though the killer was decorating with this. And decorating is one way to name it. Handbag? It looks oh, like purse. It. It's a handbag, mm -hmm. but... Good overview here. Let's see... Any yeah, the other side. There we go. Son of a bitch, oh. once are identified. Mrs. Antonia Maldonado, 712 North Hill Street, downtown. Okay. So we know our victim, and we know that... Our perp is a confident as fuck bastard. I thought we were going back to the body, so I, that's why I put it up real quick. Okay. I don't oh, need to move the body. I need to go over the case notes. And where exactly are we going? To the to the Vic's home, of course. I'm not. Okay. It was Mrs. Maldonado, right? That's affirmative. All right, so then there's a husband we should be looking for. Get him, and we've closed the case. Ah, uh, Rusty's razor, of course. I don't want to question your tried and tested techniques to take the But doesn't the DA require sound casework before he'll close the book? Uh, he's got a confession. And, you know, there's ways of getting it. I'm sure. Mm. I really don't like Rusty. He's not corrupt cop. Or maybe he is, but definitely sloppy. Yeah. Also, the reason I'm looking up is because I'm looking at the clock because I forgot to set the timer, which is now going. Okay, it's not some... Okay, it's just a... <clears throat> it's and boarding house. Is the Airbnb? Sort of, yeah. LAPD, ma'am. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Does Mrs. Maldonado live here? Yes, she does. I'm Mrs. Barbara Lepente, the owner of this boarding house. Is there a problem? I'm afraid so, ma'am. Do you mind if we come in? Is there somewhere we can discuss this? Of course. Follow me through to the parlor. Wipe your feet as you come in, detectives. It's this way. Mrs. Maldonado hey, didn't do was it. found dead this morning. Dead? Oh, no! She can't be. I'm afraid she was murdered, ma'am. We need to take a look at her things. I can't believe it. A person seems so alive, and then they're gone. Antonia's room is upstairs, last door on the left. Thank you. Guessing we'll the be number back is... shortly. Uh, excuse us a moment, ma'am. Okay. You stay out of the booze collection, Rusty. Hey, Cole, let's get moving. I think he... Oh, okay, that's where the <laughs> stairs are. Okay, he's just being impatient. Okay. Let's have ourselves a look then. Just Rusty is beelining for it. Okay, number five. Where's the fifth one? And the place. Look at over. that. Someone's turned the place over. Okay, and well, there's the yeah, most obvious of, thing right here. Hmm? Yeah, I've been thinking of renting an apartment, something like, well, this. Yeah. 
What do we have here? A letter? Maldonado, North Hill, LA, California. Alright. This one does have it in it. Let's see. CO Parsons Boarding House. Uh, further to my previous correspondence of August uh, 7th, I'm writing to inform you that your petition to the Superior Court of the State of California has been accepted and a court date scheduled. Your case, docket number 98765, will be heard on September 17th. Uh, se yeah, 17th. I'm told that your husband, Angel Christopher McDonald, uh, Mac Maldonado, Maldonado, Maldonado bleh, 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 I just have a problem with <laughs> that amount of, uh, yeah, bleh, I for what is the word for, whatever. Tongue twisted. Yeah. Uh, residing at 304-330 North Hill Saint, uh, North Hill Street, Los Angeles CE, has been served with the official papers and is on notice to appear at the Central District Court on the above date. Though it is not essential and many women in your position choose not to do so, I would advise you also to appear at the Central District Court on the scheduled date. In my experience... A, pla a woman's plaintiff, uh, a woman plaintiff's presence in cases like this, one can do much to influence proceedings. And if your husband does not appear on September 17th, which you have told me is likely, then it can only help our chances. You are sincerely, Frederick T. Uh, Frederick D. Tattersall. Okay, LLB, JD. Okay, so she she sued her husband. She was divorcing him. Yeah, going to assume that, especially with her being both well, somewhere else than him. Hmm. And hello. Take a look at the unhappy uh, couple. The charm bracelet wasn't among the crime scene evidence. And yeah. then, of course, he took it. Yep. There's mm -hmm. the uh, trophy. The trophy he took. Let's see. No, that's just that again. That's, that's the... Uh, there's also... Uh, uh, oh, window seems to... Okay, is that... Is that Teddy bloodied, or is that just the coloring of it? I think it's the coloring. Yeah, probably the latter, unless I someone cut them themselves again. badly on this. And Wait, hold on, look say? at the frame. Look at the window frame. Yeah, yeah it's, it's been, it's been broke. broke. Yeah. It's been punched in or from the. It's the glass is on. It was punched. It's like so broke in, but look at the the wood do how was it? Yeah, why is it why is it both types of damage? Like typically to I'm, just get in there, yeah, you like, need to do one or the other. I'm pretty sure. What I'm are we I waiting hear... for? Shut up, you. Anger. Unless... Wait. Yes, I guess. He broke the window from outside, then... Tried to pull the window frame out? Hmm. A smashed window explains why the place looks tossed. Iron pickets? Oh, uh, <laughs> that thing that's just... Wait, is that just... Oh, that's laying outside. Uh, yeah. You know how I feel about windows, Phelps. Okay, is this from a fence or something? So someone broke in using Did this it? thing instead of a crowbar. I wonder where it was taken from. It's a bit fancy. Hmm. Let me see. Dude, let's be honest. Those old things, what pretty could be dangerous? In the wrong yeah. hands. I'm, I'm pretty yeah. sure that's from a fence or something. Yeah, it looks like it could have been on a fence. Okay. Yeah, actually, yeah, that looks more like it was made for a fence and not for curtains. Hmm. Now we have some questions to ask. Uh, and also, oh, bathroom. Did she? You expect someone would have heard that? We have some questions, ma'am, if you're up to it. Yes, detective. I'll do my best. 
Okay, do you know anything about possible uh, right, suspects? Right or... Do you have any idea who might have wanted to hurt Mrs. Maldonado? That rat of her husband, Angel. She was serving him divorce papers. If I killed every wife to serve me papers, oh, I'd be dear. a mass murderer. Shut up, Are Rusty. Are you being flippant, young man? No, ma'am. <laughs> They're getting put in his place. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, she's she's been honest about Angel Maldonado. Yeah. <laughs> she married him when she was seventeen. He was cruel to her, very cruel. She was a good girl, little on. Uh, okay. He just pushed the log. No, I, I didn't. I, I I had my hands away, so that was just something else forcing itself to the front. Let's see. What is the other thing? OBS is the second thing, so that... Okay... Uh, One no, second, no. I, gotta, I gotta finish a thing. BRB. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I don't... For some reason, OBS just forces itself to the front with processes for some reason or another. Right. That's gonna refill my glass. Okay. Now just wait here for a second and review the answers that we will be having coming up. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, did I set the timer correct? Because we have an hour and 13... 30? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm back. <clears throat> Welcome back. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Just gotta wait on ROM for a bit. Uh, we haven't gotten word back from uh, Liz. It, actually, did we ask them or did we uh, decide to uh, let's wait until after all the nudity with the homicide desk? Hmm. No, I know. I know you said you were to ask them, but that's it. Yeah, I, I think we. Well, no, you and Rover to ask them. Yeah, I, I think we uh, sort of unanimously, uh, without saying it, agreed to wait until after this desk because um, I don't remember if uh, Liz has any specific uh, things that they they are sensitive to or not. Uh, but I think there was something at the least. I am blanking on it now, so guess that makes me a bad friend. Uh, though I would never really consider myself the best of friends because I, well, my freaking memory uh, withholds me from remembering a lot of stuff. Even where I keep my freaking notes on things that I need to remember. Uh. Well, I would say you're still good for you. You remember it there's something. So did you remember at least something about it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we can ask after the... Well, we can ask afterwards if they'd be interested. Then we could move it to a, a time when they are also available. Though it could interfere with our Borderland streams, which might start again this Wednesday. Actually, I, sh I should have asked about that if people were available f Wednesday. So let me just do that a quick thing. Uh, let's see, Discord, our game talk parts. Uh, what the... And I'm back. Welcome back. Okay, I'll, Welcome back. I'll leave that in a bit then. Uh, here we go. Sad, but a good girl. Okay. Uh, let's see, movements of the victim. What time did Antonia go out yesterday? She left around nine. Do you know where she went? No. I, I have no idea. She was a good girl, but she didn't confide in me. I'm doubting you. You here? Yeah, a bit down for that, a bit of face, but she does look a bit concerned. Yeah, I did but kind of like... skip her facial feature, her, her expressions on the first one for a comparison, so. She looked. She looks concerned, but like also that she's not telling something. So what it'll be? Truth or doubt? Doubt? For doubt. I don't know if we have any evidence. Yeah. Doubt. I'm going A with nosy doubt. old hag like you knows everything about the people who live under her roof. Where did she go? 
I think she went to a bar. She's been drinking quite a lot lately. This bar have a name? El Dorado Bar. It's a Latino place on North Los Angeles Street. That's only a couple of blocks from where we found the body. Okay. I'm surprised she didn't snap back about getting called a hag. Okay. Also, let's just take a look for how she normally looks. Straight back, so a bit wandering, but that might be because she was just caught in a lie. You've had a break in? No! That can't be true. <laughs> uh, we have evidence! <laughs> Why? And the, the fucking window. Uh, so, shall I just push it because, well, this one is as <laughs> obvious as her age. Yeah, that, that, that has to be a lie. I... You're being economical with the truth, Mrs. Lepenti. What do you have to hide? I have no idea what you are talking about. There's literally a broken window. So Antonia lost her keys and used an iron bar to jimmy the back window? I heard a noise in the early hours of the morning. I thought it might be a raccoon at the milk bottles. It'd be very bad for business if this news got out. I have a reputation to protect. <sighs> Antonia That's and her not... husband were estranged? Yes. She moved here after she separated from her husband two months ago. But Antonia still wore a wedding ring? She wore the wedding ring and a necklace. She always wore a religious necklace. That's about all of her jewelry. Um, does this count as a lie or... Because... No, no, it's a lie. Because she's doing the smug face. Why also, is he doing this... Wait. Got a face. Tell me, doesn't that face look familiar? From the old guy? <laughs> <laughs> Is this Walter's wife? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> uh, or distant sister. <laughs> distant sister. I'm would not that... surprised yeah. that this is the case. Sorry. Uh, what, what did you say? Yeah, I, Anyways, I, I was I'm, saying... I'm, okay, because we know she wore a bracelet. Yeah. Uh, also, I, I was just questioning... Antonio was so innocent, detective. Catch this killer. I've just we have already uh, caught the killer like three times already and it's still ongoing. I'm beginning to think something's up. Yeah. Uh, just, I, I just got a bit stuck on the idea of a distant sister, if that's even possible. Like, I guess half sister or such is the best, but yeah, she is lying. <laughs> the same... I don't know anything about a bracelet. Uh... In her wedding photo, she's displaying a charm bracelet. That thing? She never wore it. He gave it to her. She always kept it in that wooden jewelry box. That box that we found, maybe? No, Wait, not. Hey, so she's technically telling the truth, but... Lock him up and throw away the key. Wait, huh? so she was technically telling the truth? We can either front angle... Technically, yeah. ...as the finger's pointing right at him, or we can check out the Eldorado box. Get the evidence. Might as well go to the bar. Also, Rusty probably wants a drink. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get as much evidence as we can before we start pointing fingers. Okay, yeah. Rusty Bucket behind the wheel. Fine. Where are we headed? We still have evidence. Wait. Oh. No, no, no. Go back. Look, Eldor Maldonado residence. It's still showing up. Yeah, that, that's where he is. This is where Antonia was. Uh, Antonia. It doesn't. Uh, no. no uh, okay, we're having the reverse of this. I said it shows up like way back when this whole thing began. I said this only shows up when, like, it's not crossed out when you're there. But then you told me, oh no, it gets crossed out when like you get all the evidence. And it's like I didn't believe you, but I understand that is how it works. And now I'm telling you, it gets crossed out when we get all the evidence. But you're telling me it doesn't get crossed out when we're there. Uh, 
I guess we both were wrong at one point or another, but yeah, we... We can't go to the crime scene, we can't go back here because we're here at the moment, but since it's crossed out, it should mean oh, that we've I got all the evidence. That. Oh, right, sorry, I... Fuck, I misread it, no. <laughs> Maldonado residence, I thought my brain my brain went to the where the victim lives, not yeah. the husband is. Let's just go to a Lord Alabas. Yeah. Let's see if we can find that gold there. You just want some real drips, don't you? <laughs> a nosy old hag? <laughs> and I thought I was coming on strong with the ex wives line. Sometimes you have to be firm to get the information you need. God damn it, ain't that the truth. True, depend Ugh. just not be don't be too far. Don't take that. Don't take that out of context. Being physical you know, is not be being firm, it's being weak because yeah. you can't win an argument. Yeah. Although granted if it were although granted what if it were an you? argument. LAPD. With... Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Diego Aguilar, how can I help? You worked the bar last night? Yeah. Being a temp guy from the agency. Did you have a woman in here last night? 21 years old, Hispanic, drinking heavily. We have a lot of ladies like that in here. But yeah, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. So what did she do? She was murdered last night. Oh, shit. Do you know her well? Was she a regular? <laughs> Hell no. She was good and tight last night, complaining about her old man. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. She was so hammered last night, she left a letter on the bar. I'll show you. Okay. Oh, his reaction is, okay, what did the drunk woman Where do? Oh, she's dead. And I, oh, fuck. <laughs> do Angel Maldonado by hand. Yeah, by hand again? Let's see. Okay, Hello? Uh, Divorce okay. papers? Did you open them? No need to. She was shouting about it and waving the letter around. Said she was gonna show him. Okay. Let's see. Whereas anti <clears throat> the victim did on the eighth uh, day of August nineteen forty-seven, okay. refer her petition to the superior court to the, of the state of California, praying for the cases therein set forth, that she might be divorced from the bonds of matrimony entered into with you, Angelo. For Angel, Angel, uh, we do therefore command that Angel, the said defendant, that setting aside all other business and excuses whatsoever, you be and appear in your proper person at the Central District Court of the Superior Court of the State of California on Wednesday, the 17th day of September 1947, next to answer the petition of divorce from the bonds of matrimony on the grounds of cruelty brought by said Antonia. Uh, and to show cause, if you have any, why uh, the said plaintiff, Antonia, your wife, uh, should not be divorced from the bonds of matrimony. Witness Han Earl Branton, judge of our uh, said court of California, the 11th day of August in the year of our Lord, 1947. Okay, you could have just written it out in letters. <laughs> or n numbers at the end. Does that... So I was saying before interrupting myself, with certain groups, uh, a punch to the face is honestly all you need to do. Okay. Let's see, but those, ty those typically are the first to jump the wireless, and I think I'll leave that at that for the moment. Yeah, let's uh, do that. Let's see. Missing jewelry. Can you remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace. Some kind of religious thing, I think. The temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. Um. Doubt? Doubt. 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 Where did she go? Give me something or the LAPD will start getting interested One in second. this place. Take it easy. She wanted a cab, okay? And my phone was out of order. The closest one I knew was at the fruit market across the street, so I suggested she try there. She seemed reluctant. Okay. Not really what we asked for, but it's a lead. Uh, let's see. I gotta go pick up something. Be right back. 
Go. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> question is, pick up something in the same house, pick up something across the street, pick up something across town, huh? Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Let's see at least. Actually, I'm also going to pick up something. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm back. <laughs> Rather pillow for my bed. Uh, be re my recliner, not my bed. I don't sleep in my recliner. I would not be surprised if I can. Mm. No pillow, don't fall down. Stay up there. Okay. Uh, let's see. <laughs> yeah, we, we know that the victim was going to serve her husband divorce papers. And, well, the note says that she was going to leave him over cruelty, which I think we can take a good guess at what that might mean. So, uh, and... Well, she had a bracelet that she got from him, which seems to be missing because we didn't find a jewelry box, I think. He might so, have been hmm? stolen by... I think We're... he broke in to steal it. Yeah, but how did... How did she end up dead there? Actually, that's probably where we're going to find out. Like, she she was probably nabbed as she was leaving the the bar, like we've seen a few other times already now. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, this guy, this guy must be a real idiot then, since he's really showing it. He's really being obvious with, uh, yeah everything leading to him, though why would he make the crime scene so complicated then? Hmm. Um. Uh, well, while we wait for Ram, I'll go put up the question about Borderlands for Wednesdays real quick. Uh, yeah. Let's see. I have a theory so far, though. A game theory? Like... Uh, it, him? Stand still. Stand still. I'm just gonna introduce you to this club. <laughs> uh, let's see. Right. Curious theory. Since they seem to hint that this could be the same murderer, but to... here's the theory. Both did the actual murderer scout out these marriage problems and take advantage of the drama to murder the wife yeah like, like rusty says uh, the husband is often the worst uh, the first first uh suspect and yeah so far these cases have had some uh troublesome relationships to possibly abuse or all of these are just copycats just going off of the same templates. And getting worse mm. and worse. Pardon? Mm. You'll be pardoned? Let's see. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll have to continue to wait for Ram for a bit. Um, let's see. Let me make a note of the time. I don't want to sit here in complete silence, but I don't think we can just keep chattering on, so I might have to cut away in the recording at some point here. So let's see, 106 about. Just in case, so I don't have to go looking through the recording from start to finish. Yeah. Speaking of, nope. I think I need to... I, actually, no, I, I've already done the Doom Eternal bonk count. Which currently stands at 100-something. You mean a 100... <laughs> I like the sound too much. <laughs> As is obvious. But hmm. bloody heck. So let me check. What is in the soundboard? We have... This one, 
We have this one. Okay, I might. <laughs> that is a tad bit sudden and loud. And yeah, have... you, you told me to not use that one. Yeah, or at least not use it too much. And then we have this one for whenever I pun. Or whenever something <laughs> good happens. And the sad horn. And of course... Let's see. Now, I'm, I'm trying to think of... <laughs> I'm trying to think of other sounds to add. Maybe the Wilhelm scream or something. Yeah, I've been to telling you for a while to add the Wilhelm scream. <laughs> okay, I'll just have to find a... I'll just have to find a specific recording of that and we can just play that whenever we toss an enemy over <laughs> over a ledge or something which would have been very fitting fitting to have in uh indiana jones and the emperor's tomb because i'm pretty sure we sent like a dozen <laughs> people into the abyss with that and at least yeah, one terracotta statue that went of its own volition uh, don't forget it probably also would have worked great in dun -dun -dun -dun, dark messiah yeah <laughs> <laughs> where yeah, just kicking stuff over ledges is like the preferred way to kill stuff. Uh, okay. Kicking me sleep and all that. Like, I hope they do try to make more spin-offs of those games with that yeah. system. Yeah, I uh, wish. I hope someone at some point makes a spiritual successor to Dark Messiah, and I think I'll actually make a BRB myself now. So, uh, if I did this correctly, this should start music. I, ha I have two BRB buttons now, just the normal one and the quiet one, in case a game has uh, music playing of its own, so it's not just a mixture of two, like we had glitched with uh, Dave the Diver recently. So, yeah, BRB and enjoy this, the music. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Literally came back to us. We'll be right back. <laughs> oh, he's already... He's already back. It's perfect timing on that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, no need to cut anything out then. And let's resume. I'll just... Let's see. We have... Mm, I might in about half an hour then. Okay. Uh, how about the movements of the victim? They wanted to get a cab. Could they get a cab? Do you know that? Did Antonia say where she was going when she left? She said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. Said that would take the smile off his face. If you ask me, she was scared. And the drink was for Dutch courage. Hello there, Tatum. You doing well today? Hello, little potato. Hey. And Dutch courage? <laughs> Yeah, that, that is a saying. When the first time I ran across that, I got very confused. But yeah, basically, you, to basically, uh, <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Basically, you drink in order to lower your inhibitions and basically will yourself to do a thing. Also, hi, Tatum. How's it going? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, good God. A little potato and uh, looking a bit annoyed and then the last one i'm not sure about let me mouse over that so how's the so how's it like being a potato <laughs> Ang oh angie and then gun tato <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait 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 they they are aiming a tato gun at me <laughs> i give you free french fries apparently okay uh, doubt. I'm going with doubt. <laughs> okay, I should okay. stop the teasing them. Sorry. Okay. Uh, what is the verdict on the movements of the victim here? Truth doubt. or doubt? He is keeping eye contact. So. Okay. Also, not going to be surprised if we get a copy yeah, right, on this bit, because the background music. <laughs> it might be too old for that. Nah, uh, it's never too old to... Nah, music is never too old to get... For you yeah. to screw you over with. Yeah. Anyways, then. Choose the word doubts. 
You waiting Doubt. for someone? I already said. Doubt. Uh, 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 it's actually truth. Yeah, true fool. She attract any interest? An extremely drunk young woman? What do you think? She managed to scare them off, though. Thanks. Thank you. You've been a big help. No problem. Hey, get the guy, will you? We'll do our best. One last question. What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aguilar? A broad nine. I have wide feet. Where is that? Okay, bit of random question. Actually, oh, given wait, that every single male we've seen. ran into also victim size eight shoes. Uh, let's see, fruit market uh, across uh, the street. He said, "Is that that place?" Shilling. I start to feel uh, feel like my theory, but Robert's way has had a theory might be true. Oh, that's the fruit markets. Shut up! I'm not even in front of you. Place that literally says market across the board, across it. Yeah, yeah, shut up, police crossing. Then again, this is the old time of it. Had no uniforms and such. At least for detectives, it just picked. <laughs> okay, that's a decent name. Shut. Great. We'll need to come back later, Phelps. Maybe somebody here saw Antonia the night she died. Okay, well, that sucks. But, yeah, when life gives you lemons, or rather when the fruit mark doesn't give you lemons, you just go to the car and go to your other lead. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, sure, how are you doing, awesome. Tatum? Yeah, how are you doing, Tatum? Uh... And I see Sensei You're is lurking. Wheel. And where exactly are we going? Okay. My brain just broke that. Yeah, it, how do you do that with a little how potato? Had El Dorado bar? Or is that just because we can't go to the fruit market and it's just indicated? I'll yeah. yeah. drop in on the husband instead. See if your gut is right. I'll take a bar over a husband every day of the week. I just realized, I always call the potato little potato. I don't know why. Eh, guess that's just something you picked up somewhere. <laughs> and I'm okay. Getting... One second, getting my lunch. Okay. Uh, let's see. Now, where might Mr. Maldonado be? Because I very much doubt this, this entire place is his. Let's see. Just took my first shower in my apartment. <laughs> okay. And up. Let's oh, see. Oh, it was nice. Baker, Muller, something, something, Pietre, Lawrence, and McHon. When? Wait, what? I might as well Wait, open the, the other door. There's the other one on the other side. Ah, there, yeah. Uh, let's see, I hate the shower curtain. Well, it's your place, so you can replace it. Ah, oh, there we go. An apartment 304. Or at least, depending on if it's a hire or a landlord thing, uh, uh, nope, renting, they said no. Okay, well... Uh, yeah, then... Yeah. <laughs> Not much to do. Hello? Okay, I, I thought it was a... I thought it was a painting of a person laying in the air. Uh, draw me like a oh, French. This could turn ugly. Forget about knocking. Let's take our boy by surprise. Hey, what the fuck? LAPD, motherfucker. You're under arrest. Uh... Well, here we go again with this. I got a hard look. Oh. I'm not making a statement. Let's see. Uh, there, space to dodge, and then just whack him like a sock puppet. Oh, Q to grapple, and oh, R to. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good one on that, <laughs> Phelps. Damn. They got some decent shots in there. <gasps> Cop these sons of bitches, Phelps. <laughs> LAPD, you two are under arrest. Call for some backup, Finbar. Yeah, that's an account of assault on the both of you. 
Uh, let's see. Tatum, my dad is going to fix something Galloway, so we can set up a shower door without. Okay. We need a prowl car at the apartment building 330 North Hill Street. Two suspects need transporting to Central. Your wife has been murdered, Angel. Antonia? Oh, God, no! Where were you last night, Angel? I was here with my brother the whole night, God damn it! You think I killed my own wife? Not the first, not the last. We should get the whole place of going over and then talk to the neighbor. Uh, all right. Phelps, I don't care that you just got smacked in the head. You don't call me Finbar. <laughs> uh, maybe if you pick up your hats, you'll get the ringing out of ears. Hello, whatever you hear. Something of no interest, apparently. Cross on the wall. Painting of someone. And is I think that I think that's Maria in the uh, Jesus. Hmm. Baby Jesus, literally in this case. I'm guessing this might have been uh, Antonia's room then. Yep, and since uh, Tatum agrees. Mary and baby Jesus, probably. Okay. Uh, what have we here? Significant. Yep. Okay, where do people get those freaking skulls? You see them so freaking often. And yeah, looks... Yeah, another sign that of the unhappy couple, because it looks like they ate separately. Yep. Rusty. <laughs> Uh, is it this box you want to look at? Yes. Yep. Just Hello. The fruit market. Yep, that's some... I wonder if Angel gets all his groceries from this place. Get some strange fruits. Yep. Another plate. Ooh, hello. The El Dorado must be a family favorite. Okay, that links him to at least knowing about the place and frequenting it. And yeah, we speculated that she might have been jumped as she left, and he knows the place, so he could have followed her there. Uh, anything else here? It's the crates. It's antiquity shafts, I don't know. Yeah, for the skulls. Uh, anything else here? Oh, oh, hello. Oh, I overlooked that. This will take some explaining. Yep. And on the arm. Okay. Hmm. This, this could have been from like a stab or thing, but what would be with the arm? That looks like it was a major, a, 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 a pretty big Maybe wound. Maybe one of the neighbors took notice of Angel's movements. Here's the thing. The one on the upper shirt looks like blood, but the arm looks like either blood or maybe more likely wine or whatever that bottle was. I think Probably wine. Rusty got into, an, got into an altercation and that's why he's missing his what do you freaking want? hat again. LAPD, <laughs> we're making some inquiries. Make it quick. I worked nights. So you weren't home last night? No, I was at work. You know nothing about Mrs. Maldonado fighting with her husband? Those two? They're always screaming the place down. Thanks. That was easy. And yeah, as someone who's worked the night shift, you get cranky during the day. Can't cranky on the fucking no day good. if you gotta Nobody work the here. night shift. Okay, third time to charm. Hey, sorry about that. I'm playing with my kids. <clears throat> LAPD, were you here last night? Yeah. My uh, wife and I are separated, and uh, I had the kids last night. <laughs> I put them to bed early and went to bed myself. Thanks. Okay, so nothing to gain out of them. Green Goblin motherfucker. Hello. LAPD, ma'am. Did you hear a disturbance last night? Yes. 
Yes, I did. Mrs. Maldonado lit out of here, and her husband ran out after her. You saw this, Miss... Aranda. I had the door open a crack. Did you see Mr. Maldonado come back inside after he ran out? No. I didn't. Thanks. We'll be in touch. Okay. I kept thinking you were going to call that one a nosy old hag, too, Phelps. Well-executed restraint. <laughs> Shut up. I'm executing restraint right now, Finbar. Uh, I wonder hey. who, get, who got a bit freaked out by that uh, woman. Uh, just uh, another nosy uh, type uh, looking for rumors and gossip. Okay. What, what we'll freaked you out about her? Like her appearance or something? More the way she talked and the way she said she opened the door. I feel like it's so similar to something else I heard. Yes. Uh, I feel like I feel like like to think, one? all right, it's gonna get awkward. Fine. Where are we headed? Yeah, she might have been uh, waiting for a uh, quote-unquote suitor to arrive, perhaps. Okay. Let's check if the food market is open. Oh, hello. KGPL, Levin King, over. Levin King, Captain Donnelly and Detective Sergeant Finnis Brown urgently request your presence at Central. A new letter has been found. Letter? Levin K, en route. I was half expecting there to actually be a collision there. Okay. Oh, oh, we'll just go there immediately. Captain is waiting for you downstairs with Pinker. Okay. Hey, Bin Bar, did you forget something? <laughs> okay. I read about him in the paper. He's apparently going hatless the rest of the run. <laughs> okay, at least Phelps got his hat back on and had a slight tilt for some reason. Or is that just my eyes playing tricks on me? Like, he has it at, like, a really slight tilt. It is in a slight tilt. <laughs> Actually, yeah, you can see Boys. it by his ears. Hello? Come on in. Phelps. Have you met Finnis Brown? Pleased to meet you, sir. This information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The new letter was left in the back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all the spares back 24 hours regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and typed from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem, hand-typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. Okay. I have changed my... That's the message from the Celine Henry case. I've changed my mind. Would you not give a square D? Uh, you would not give a square deal. Fuck you, BD tax. Okay, and a piece of a ten dollar bill as well. Also, this is a bit no, sudden with the uh, letters. Uh, a stamp. Okay, yeah, of the uh, Lincoln Memorial something. Or it's it's where the Lincoln statue is, I believe. I forget the specific name of it. Pretty sure it's the Lincoln Memorial. Okay. Heap upon thy soul by Heap virtue upon of thy soul by virtue of this curse. Ill deeds then be thou damned, uh, beholding goods, both infinite as is the universe, and thou and thy self torturing solitude, an awful image of calm power, though now thou is sittest let the hour come then uh, come when thou must appear to be that which thou art internally. And after many a false and fruitless crime, scorn track thy lagging fall through <clears throat> through boundless space and time. Okay. Uh, you think it's original? Not unless he's a genius. You like this nut job's poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least 100 years ago. Shelley. Sure, I knew that. You see, Finnis, 
I told Next you to this doubt. lad was a bright boy. Sure, but what does it got to do with the case? Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan, a superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We have the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Well, upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. Okay, I think I accidentally clicked away with one line of dialogue there. Uh, but yeah, th those seem to be letters from the Black Dahlia killer. So, are they trying to claim this kill? Or was this their kill and they're trying to make sure it is and remains as their kill and not claimed by some wannabe? Improved your attitude, Angel? What do you want me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died, but she left the apartment and that was the last time I saw her. Okay. Let's see. Last contact with Victor. So your wife paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Late, around midnight, maybe? She didn't stay long. Mm, no, no, he did not with the last eyes. Now I'm Doubt. doubtful of him. Doubt. Rom? Yeah, I already said doubt. Okay, sorry. <laughs> this is a lie. You're lying, Angel. You went after her. I think you killed her. Oh, right. You're out of your mind. My brother will tell you I was at home. Yeah, and he, you would tell that he was at home. Just very easy that you can cover for each other. But uh, we saw someone saw, see you leave. We, we, we yeah. have a witness who confirms that you were arguing, that your wife ran out, that you followed her, and didn't come back. I know this looks bad, but it's not true. We argued, all right? But she went out, and I went out after her, and she jumped in a car on the corner. There was a car waiting for her? Can you describe the driver? Not the driver. It was too dark. But the car, it was a brown Ford Coupe. Yay. Bit of an unlikely story. Let's see. Okay, a lot of blinking, but... Mm, yeah, he has difficulty keeping eye contact. How about the divorce proceedings? You and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. First papers, dude. <laughs> that's a lie. Yeah, that's a lie. Have you seen all the papers? Yeah. And people didn't I don't believe see... Rachel. She'd been granted a decree nice side. She pushed you too far and you lashed out. I told you. I wouldn't accept a divorce. Oop, that's something different than trying to get one. Uh, let's see. For this, we could uh, do the... Uh, let's... Wait. Did we miss something? Different. Let's see. Divorce letter, papers, or attorney's letter. I'm missing the attorney's letter, I think, or is it lame differently? Either way, we can still present this one. The judge had set a date. You were going to be paraded in front of the whole city for your cruelty to her, Angel. Antonia. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she came in drunk, out of her mind. She doesn't normally drink. She was looking around in her bag. Said she wanted to serve me papers. Me, her own husband. So I slapped her down. And she ran out. That's the truth. What size shoe do you wear, Angel? Size 8. What difference does that make? There's a lot of people with size 8s, apparently, in this area. Let's see. When we found your wife, her jewelry... He's sorry? one of the most forthcoming people on shoe size that we've had in a hobbit side, of all things. She always wore that. Uh, let's see. What did he? What was said here? Uh, when you found your wife, her jewelry had been removed. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure, she always wore that. I'm thinking they means the necklace there, not the bracelet. Let's see. 
What will be the verdict? Um, for fuck's sake, truth. Now, for he seems to have trouble keeping eye contact. Hmm. Yeah, but less so than the other. This one should be. At the be... same time, we've what also had him. Was she wearing that? You know about that? She never wore it. She didn't like the message. Who? Oh. She kept it locked up in that box of hers. Okay, uh, you were going to say? Yeah, everyone and their mothers pretty much said that she was wearing the necklace. Okay. Um, let's see, bloodstained shirts. You got any explanations for that? Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself shaving. And that's and a very it's a strange... you're alive! Also bullshit. <laughs> uh, if he did, did that, I uh, feel like we would see a, something that would be visible on your face from that shaving. Yeah, and I think those little streaks are more from the beating you got. <laughs> So, yeah. Uh, so, lie? Lie or doubt? Yeah. Angel, I'm not gonna waste any more time on this. Give me something, or I'm gonna have you charged. My brother, Hippolyta, he said some bad things about Antonia last night. So I had a sock him one. We got into it. Keep talking. She said she came from the El Dorado bar. And? It's not one of my places. We used to buy fruit at the market down the street. But the creep there was always running his eyes all over my wife. What's the name of this fruit market? Just picked fruit. Ord Street downtown. Okay, so... One last question, Angel. Do the words kiss the blood mean anything to you? No. Sounds sick to me. You're not in the clear by any means, Angel. You're going back into a cell. You should think about whether you have anything else you need to share with us. Okay, so... Hmm. Okay, the guy there is a temp, I think he said. So he oh, no, he would be unable to confirm if Angel is a regular or not. So the the matches could have been from uh, Antonia. Likely. Hmm. Nah. Is the place finally going to be open? You drive. I need to go over the case notes. And where exactly are we going? Let's see. Do you mind if I check something real quickly? Go ahead. Another letter? I thought the letter was from a nut. These letters? Brown and Hanson believe they are genuine. From him. Now he sent another. I really hate this fuck. This Black Dahlia guy. Have you seen the body? Fucking cased his nose away to the guts. How? Every prom queen from every fucking hick town in America turns up here. Where do they end up? Gut <laughs> fucking side. They're great in El Dorado Bar that have the just fruit market. Okay, so that's them. why. Hmm, so that just that says that uh, they get their fruit from there as well, but that makes sense. It's just down the streets. So that's yeah. why it's not crossed off. Uh, we can skip that a little bit, I'd say. And, well, we know that Angel at least got his uh, grape juice from here as well. Let's see. Melons. Lemons, carrots, and corn. Okay. Okay, you must be the owner. Or at least the clerk. LAPD, Detective Phelps and Galloway. Clem Feeney, what can I do for you? Did you happen to see a young woman last night? 21 years old, Hispanic? Sure, she came by last night. Why do you ask? No, okay. Let's see. She was wearing a necklace? I didn't notice. You weren't paying attention, Feeney? Hey, you're getting the wrong idea. Lying, they're lying. Hmm? What I swear to God, my my case me doubt. Yeah, we have no he evidence against not... him. Yeah, 
Don't it. Wait, what's behind him? Gorn Flakes. Gorn Flakes. <laughs> Kellogg's. Kellogg. Okay. Uh, For God, what's that old? Exactly how much fruit do you sell here after midnight, Clem? Uh, look, not much. I sell the odd bottle on the side to the after hours crowd. Well, I don't want any trouble. I'm just trying to make a buck. Okay, so she was getting more alcohol here. The young lady arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Used the phone for a cab and then left. He's... He's a horrible liar. Yeah. Dab Dabbed. You already knew Mrs. Maldonado, didn't you, Clem? Sure, I met her before. Now, she seemed like a nice lady. Her husband went apeshit one day when he caught me talking to her. She had me back until last night. Okay. Where did she go from here? She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up and she got into that. Okay. That match that kind of this is what Angel said. Uh, he said it was, was a, apparently waiting for her. Yeah, a, bra a <laughs> brown a brown force. Now. Yeah. True. True. Can you describe the car? Brown Ford Coupe, I think. Okay. She the guy. Do you mind if we look around? Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. Don't you have to get a court order or something? I have rights. Clem? Shh. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll give him that. That was funny. Uh, oh, oh, hello. That's... <laughs> a wonder he stays open late at night. People have to get their vitamins. That's a lot of grape juice. juice. <laughs> up before we get back out there. Rusty. Nope. Oh, no. Oh, hello. Iron and now that's too clean to be the murder weapon. Oh, no, wait. That's a. Oh. I cut someone who was already dead. And yeah, new objective. Power. Once the stiff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. Must have seen it during the war. And a tire iron, but this one is clean. Okay, time to put the clamps on clam, I guess. Oops. So oh, hello! In here? This thing needs a combination. Uh, wait, what was that? Let me see. Uh, well, we had it. We have it. Ladder, we should we have... had the ladder. We had the, uh, no, no, no. Let's see. Oh, what was it again? Two, what five, was it again? Two, five, three. Okay. Oh, oh, wait. Okay, they're turned there. Okay. Five, three. And presto. Know? Wife, submit to your husband as to the Lord. 23. For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church, and is his body of which he is the savior. A load of bullshit. <coughs> One, two. And what do you know? Looks like our pendant. This fruit stall punk gets about 10 seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms off. Clem! Come here, you wanna be war ring character. Yeah, time for one of these again. <laughs> time to be a public menace on the road. Damn it, get after him, Cole. Okay, here we go. The motherfucker! He went into me there. Was, it, was, was that the old yeah, guy? When we had the chance, we didn't know he was our guy. Phelps, you gotta get me closer. Shut up, Rust Buckets. Repair the cannons. Blood right back to his own market. Maybe he wanted to be caught. 
close. Go, go, motherfuckers, get out of the way. It's almost too perfect, isn't it? There's no such thing as too perfect. Hit him, Cole. Spit him out. Make a decision. Do you want me to get close so he can shoot out his tires, or do you want me to pit him? You want to go. He wants me to deal with it. Get him close to the old tires and for you to head up. Yep, yep. I think okay. that'll do. You're under arrest by the LAPD. <laughs> you have to write him and remain silent and not throw up. Sick man, Clem. You need help. Okay, that was a sm oddly smug look. Outstanding <laughs> job on this case, gentlemen. The poor woman can now rest in peace. Ah, uh, fucking course. <laughs> he smoking a cigar. How much contraband is in this so place? Unpunished. When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor, Lance. I'll be sure to mention your names. Now, on your way. Yeah, I I'm pretty sure after that flip, his colon is somewhere in the area of his throat. Yeah. <laughs> but, right? Or, uh, yeah, that's oh, about right. Not so holy now, huh? Yeah, look at the bright side. You didn't run over anybody. I ran over somebody in the, in the one involving the political car <laughs> okay I, i'm pretty sure i ran over the foots of that old guy <laughs> i think it wait, might have been the one from the, that same wait, case wait, wait, wait. look at conduct uh let's see only 20 damage to the city okay <laughs> you, a... you didn't run over anyone <laughs> apparently yeah <laughs> given the size of clem's stash it's a wonder you didn't catch him red-handed at el dorado Oh, that's why uh, that you run to him in El Dorado. Yeah, that we could have found a case of uh, his stash over there. Yeah. Mm, that, uh, it does explain where they were getting their alcohol from. And another five stars. Yeah. Mm, no. Little potato sits over there, shut there. Yeah. Uh, but why did he kill the lady? Motive. You've got a point there. Yeah. Uh, but then again, uh, could have been a case of uh, if I can't have, then no one can. Since, well, it it's a bit hinted at that he was making the moves on her, wanted her or something. So maybe he made a move. She didn't like it. And uh, the maybe the black, you know, maybe the brown Ford was his car or something that he was trying to bullshit on. Hmm. Anyway, let's move on. Now let's on to the next one, and I'm keeping my finger on the blur trigger. Sarge, why are the guys giving it to the doggies? They're riding in trucks, numb skull, while you're marching. They look pretty badly beat up. Yeah, they do it then. Scuttlebutt says it's pretty hard going down south. Yeah, we'll find out soon enough. Recon always leads. How can we fail, Skip, with the shadow leading the show? What the fuck is a shadow? Lieutenant Phelps, the shadow of death. What the fuck are you talking about? He's a quiet fucker, Sarge. You never hear the bastard coming. You're sitting there, field stripping a cigarette, and suddenly he's there looking down on you. Why do you think we keep saluting that Jap loving son of a bitch? He's bad juju. That's enough out of you three. Bad juju? Where were you dragged up? A swamp? At least one has the Phelps back. Yeah, with all the muck, I it's find it hard to see oh, who he already. is. Like, okay, I think this one has a newspaper. Give me a minute. Okay. Alright. Okay. Ooh. Get out of the road! Hey. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the missus got gentlemen. almost wasted. <laughs> Most too. being wasted. We have just cause for celebration. Galloway and Phelps are sending another fiend to San Quentin. 
a nice showy trial, and he'll be strapped down with gas seeping into his tiny reptile brain. Now, to fresh business. Galloway and Phelps, the task is at hand. The address is on the hill, north downtown of Fremont Avenue. Okay. Maybe we got a bunch Skipper, of uniforms. Is the new letter genuine? Now, boys, we all know how many imbeciles have confessed in the short case. Ray Pinker will let us know in good time. Okay, I'm guessing uh, we're getting. We're, homicide is getting assistance today. But the bodies keep piling up. Yeah, California's love of fad, Phelps. As long as the bricks hold up at San Quentin, there'll always be killers in this town to send. Hmm. I don't want to be Sad rude, but true. But you're bothering me. As, as long as you... Yeah, wherever there's a large amount of people, there's going to be killers sooner or later. Sunny California. I want to stop. Uh, probably as sunny as uh, Phelps' disposition at the moment. You know the way. You can drive. Okay. Oh. Bad, bad that on his first tour in Okinawa, he was Alan already marked as Come bad on, luck. Come on, keep on telling me there's not the a killer freedom. still out there. You know, Phelps, all these arrests on your record are giving you a reputation. You don't want them turning into other phones. Getting a vicious killer off the streets is more important than my reputation. Really? And besides, landing a big fat marlin is more impressive than an ocean full of minnows. The minnows make it the man, Phelps. You can't always hit home run. Sometimes you just gotta make first Sound like you've had plenty of times, and where did each of those lead? Not to a home run. Okay, keeping ready on the blur trigger. Detectives, Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Scene secure. The rest of the patrolmen are going door to door, canvassing for witnesses. Thanks. Keep me informed. Will do, detective. This looks awfully familiar. I think that's the impression the boys from the examiner took with them as well. There's nothing original under the sun. Why should murder be any different? Just in what case. Do we have so far, not much trace evidence to speak of. Storm blew in around 10 last night and the rain washed most of it away. And the body? Looks like she was tipped out of an automobile from the tire tracks and superficial injuries. Strangled with a length of rope. And for my money, it's mm -hmm. triple braid again. Okay. From her temperature, Maybe 2 a.m., but it was cold last night. Usual head injuries. Uh, okay, she Blood is... Uh, Knock him over the head, then strangle and mutilate. No message with this one. This one was... At least messy. she was left clothed. No. Well, I doubt very much okay, let me she was concerned that. with her dignity. The green silk dress is very distinctive. Any sign of her other shoe? No. Oh, wait, that looks pulled no up. handbag or other personal effects. So, uh... Okay, there's actually nothing visible, but I'm just going to take a <laughs> Not precaution taking with this. Okay. Well, this one seems messy, so to speak. The other one seemed more premeditated. This one just seemed to be straight up fuck it. Yeah. The victim isn't naked. There's no messages. I mean, it's the rope is the same. There appears to be a dry cleaning label. Superior it's... Laundry Services, F1363. Okay. Any rings? No ring. Okay. Maybe? Okay, yeah, this... the other hand. Yeah, it could be the other hand. Could have also worn a necklace, well, we know. Okay, no ring this time. So this one looks very much... This one doesn't fit with the previous MOs of the copycats. Uh... Nothing on the torso, nothing on the torso. Okay. There's something over here. No, just some cash. Okay. This doesn't pertain to the case. Okay. Just Don't let me catch me pocketing any of you that. Uh, any of you pocketing that. Bleh. Our driver and our killer are most likely one and the same. Okay. I mean, Are we going to get casts of that? If that's the cash said, again. Did you see that? Uh, Consider how the tracks look like. Behind you. But... What if he got interrupted? Yeah. But prints? No drag marks. Killer okay. was moving around, surveying the scene. 
This thing over here. Uh, just a bottle. Probably nothing. Don't think this is anything. Yeah. Hmm. Yep, they'll get sustained blasted bottle. And that's a big radius. Uh, let's see. Anything else around here? Hmm. Hmm. Cigarettes? Okay, this better not be from one of you. It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. It probably is from one of them. Okay. The 40s, everybody smoked. Hell, in the 60s, you could smoke in a plane. Let's see. Uh, try R and I. Okay, no other clues here. Uh, yeah, we can try and get a... We can get some info on the dry cleaner. Uh, hello. And <laughs> and your mob rolling in. And heal mob? Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Who's the lady? Detectives, I've been working the houses across the street and up the block. This lady thinks she has something for us. Detective Phelps, LAPD. I'm Mrs. Barton, Catherine Barton. I live just across the way. Okay. Did you see anyone around here last night? Not last night, but yesterday, early evening, I saw that awful hobo. Hobo? Okay, hobo, hobo, hobo. She's a, like, like she's blinking, but that's more regular blinking rather than just looking away. I think she's yeah. telling the truth. Yeah. Uh, Ram also truth. Yeah, I already said truth. Yeah, my bad. Truth. Tall, gaunt, horribly disfigured. I think he may have had an accident in the war. He's a very scary, angry man. Any idea where we might find him? One of the hobo camps around here. He's some kind of hobo leader. They all follow him around. Some sort of Thank you, ma'am. Pikmin. Been a big help. Of course. Anything I can do to help. I'd hate to think that something so ghastly could happen right here and nothing be done about it. Okay. Uh, maybe we can get an idea on our victims through the law and the dry cleaning service. Yes, sir. Been a bit nice. since we've used this. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on Superior Laundry Services. Just a moment. Superior Laundry Services, 1260 West 1st Street. Can you track down reports of hobo camps in the vicinity of Signal Hill? Just a moment, Detective. There's a large camp under the bridge on Grand between Temple and Sunset. Thanks. Okay. So a possible location where we might run into our suspects. But okay. let's get some let's see if we can get some info on our Vic first. It, not out in the rain to get rusty, rusty. Fine. Where are we headed? <laughs> Also, I believe no for message. some of the previous Excuse cases, me? the narrator no was rusty. Where? On the Vic. The last bodies had something written. The last one did. Actually, <laughs> that's a different. Uh, can't be got. the same guy as what I'm saying, right? Unless you, you start trying to link this to Maldonado uh, and all the others. There are more factors to consider than the messages, Rusty. It doesn't fit your pattern. End of conversation. Understand? Yeah, this one is different. Like, the rope is the same, but rope can be gotten anywhere. Or same type, I should say. And looks like we are coming towards the end of the stream, but we can go, go in for a little bit more. We might as well get everything from laundry and then leave. Mm. Uh, let's see. Hello there. At least the rain stopped. You can change back into those white bucks. Um, where do we chat to someone? 
Yeah. Rusty's very interested here. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. We're investigating a case, and one of your laundry labels came up. F1363. If you give me a minute, I go find a register, and you can take a look. I guess we just have to wait for Rusty to show up here as, as well. You take a look for yourself. I've got clothes that need pressing. Okay, understandable. Uh, let's see. There. Let's uh, see. F one green silk dress. Yeah, that's the one. This is T. Terrelson, 43 Emerald Street, West. <laughs> the same noise as in, uh, in Elder Scrolls when you open and close a book there. I think that is a very common sound in most games. Yeah, it's a stock sound. Yeah, that thing. It, yeah, it, it's more Can you go to this one? Now. And where exactly are we going? To the Vic's house. Okay. Yeah, the, at least the place isn't looking as noir as when it was raining. So now I've it's just spray. I've got a feeling we're about to meet another wife killer. You've always got that feeling, Rusty. Yeah, and it's usually correct. Please, please, for once, can you not let your assumptions color your detective work? Just you wait. The Nordic type show a particular disposition for this stuff. Okay. Big leap there. What? Forty-three Emerald Street, twelve thirty-five p.m. Yeah, that's a big jump to make on just the last name, Rust Bucket. Oops, some toys. Probably want to get those out. Or rather, in. Hello. Yes. Did that guy open Detective the door without Phelps using his hands? Is your wife yep. home, sir? My wife went out last night and she hasn't come home. Can you describe your um. wife and what she was wearing? We were out at a friend's place, Bobby Ross's, for a party. She was kind of dolled up. She had her green silk dress, open-toed white shoes. Those are her favorite shoes. Can we come in, Mr. Tarleton? I'm afraid we have some rather bad news. And, uh, yeah, when they say that, uh... Do you have someone who can look after your children, Mr. Tarleton? I've been trying to arrange a sitter. Look, tell me what's happened. I'm afraid your wife was murdered last night. Her body was found this morning. We're very sorry for your loss. I know this is a difficult time, Mr. Terrelson, but we are going to need you to answer some questions. First, we're going to take a look around. What for? You don't think it's that... It's procedure. You see to your girl. Well, they look bored out of their little minds. So I'm guessing uh, Phelps whispered it enough for them not to hear. Here till Daddy's finished talking to these men. Where's Mommy? Everything's gonna be all right, sweetheart. We would like Mommy to come home now, Daddy. What's the problem, Terrelson? Let him search. You got nothing to hide. Uh, that's a bit of a bullshit thing. Fun, some bums think filling out a missing persons report actually rules them out as a suspect. A little ship. No, I saw must have the pedestal seat. Okay. Aunque, aunque no se la da. Estamos a hacer. Mm. Need to check if she was a regular. Baron's bar. Okay. And what have we here? I wonder why the picture was turned down. Yeah, that's that's typically uh, not a good sign. But yeah, what Rusty said there about uh, not having anything to hide. Uh, hello. You can refuse a search, then they will have to come back with a warrant. Yes. Sadly, in modern times, a lot of time, uh, a lot of. Uh, less straight cops, I'll say. Uh, we'll just go looking for stuff to pin on you. And well, we've seen it enough in news recently that they'll actually still freaking, that they'll actually plan stuff. Incidental. Okay, a game, I'm guessing. 
Now let me get it. Hello? What have we here? Junk. <laughs> okay, I'd say, it, I'd say it's at least pretty <laughs> junk. Uh, let's see. Nope, and that's the stream timer. Nope. That's, that was a bit loud. It's probably lower We might as well up. get everything and we might as well get all the evidence we can in the house and then leave. Uh, wrong one. Let's see. Intuition. Okay, there is still something more, so let's use up one. Oh, that's a lot. Or is it showing things we've already seen as well? No, it shows you what you remaining. Okay, another of these. Baron's bar. Someone must be real sweet on this dive. Uh, anything out? Oh, oh Excuse hello. Me, ladies. Oh, muddy shoes. Someone was out. And eight. See if Picker can match the impression of the crime scene. Okay, if that matches, then uh, you are screwed. And another purse. Okay. So she went out without her handbag? Handbag, purse, hell of I know the difference. The handbag, the thing you hold, a purse is the thing you can actually sling over your shoulder. Okay. Also, I think there was a shirt there. Yeah, I think this is just for the purse. Or wait, is there more in it or something? Ah, yes. Hello? She'd have to be in quite a state to leave this behind. Yeah. Okay, her driving license. I'm guessing, or is it ID? Uh, a license, California. Yeah, drive op operator's license. Okay. Yeah, that's quite uh, useful for identification. Still more here or something? <laughs> We're looking at this bag a lot. This is like the fucking target ah. of... At least she was spared that particular indignity. Okay, so we might not have had uh, the usual writing because most she didn't have lipstick with her to use up. Uh, oh, hell, okay, that shirt. That dripping yeah, wet shirt. Uh, Loris might be in a lot of trouble. Yeah, I'll so be close. Way momentarily, ladies. Just one. We'll really soak in uh, the water. Okay, we're heading out, but we're not leaving because there is something over here. Uh huh. Oh, it's a boat. Nice. What do you think you'd need to have a boat in 1957? Oh, oh, hello. Match with the ligature marks. Triple braided. Okay. All right. So if you do not have a an alibi, Mr. Lars, you are in deep, deep trouble. Deeper than that boat can get you out of. But we'll have to call it there. Uh, don't know when the game saves. Uh, let's see. Is there any way I can force a save? Oh, so yeah, I keep forgetting about this. That it'll, uh, he, uh, You can actually read down the, his writings and stuff uh, like this. I accidentally clicked out the game again. Um, let's see. Is it going to put on the save here? What is your wife's name? Teresa. Can we step... If you have more questions, I'd rather get this over with now. Mm, I think you need to... Let's just finish interrogation and then leave. That probably auto saves us. Yeah, uh, yeah. This shouldn't take too long. Yeah, and we did uh, have wrong good B B for a bit as well. Yeah, we can go a little bit over. Any idea why anyone would want to hurt your wife? No. Everyone loved Teresa. She was so full of life. It can't be anyone who knew her. He seemed truthful. He has a, he is having trouble keeping eye contact, swallowing a lot. Yeah. He's so, lying again. Okay, yeah, maybe. But do we have any proof of that? We have. She was strangled with a rope. 
that is of the same pattern as the one you on that's hanging from the boat, which seems to have been cut as well. Yeah. So what will be the verdict? Lime out. Though he does look rather sad. Yeah, he was just told his wife was dead. I think you were mad at your wife for embarrassing you in front of your friends. I think you came back here and strangled her and then dumped her body on the hill. You think I strangled my wife? How do you expect to prove that? Okay, that's a rather specific one. And, well, we have a rope here. Your wife was strangled with triple braid rope. The bowline from your boat is a perfect match. Look, I know this looks bad. I'm gonna have to come to terms with the fact that I let her go. You? You said you went to a party at Bobby Ross's place? That's right, Bobby had a bunch of people over. We were having a good time. She said she was bored and decided to leave. Let's see, Tatum, or he could just be distraught because he just learned his wife is dead? Yeah. Yeah, it, I, I agree with Tatum there. No, this is a bit different. Uh, th this is big difference. Doubt. Doubt. You let your drunk wife leave the party and go off on her own? Look, I was angry. I was having a good time. She has to go and ruin it. We always have to do what she wants to do. Last night she wanted to go dancing. Any idea where? Where she always goes. A bar down on North Beaudry Avenue. Baron's Bar. Okay. She goes there, drinks too much, gets maudlin, and calls me. I go and bring her home. Maudlin? The heck is maudlin? <laughs> Mr. Terrelson, was Teresa happy at home? Yeah, I think she was. Doubt. Doubt. That... Yeah, now, now it's really obvious that he, he is hiding. Yeah, not so looking good for you. We like the look of you for this, so you better give us something. We're at the party. She has a few and says she wants to go out dancing. We only have the sitter until nine. I get mad. I tell her to go ahead, but I'm staying. She storms out. Look, I'm doing well at cards. I hardly ever do well. I married her because she was so much fun, but now she drives me fucking crazy. What time hmm. did she leave the party? About 8.30. Maybe a little earlier. Yeah, fun, it might not always be reliable. And, well, when you get uh, kids, you should probably slow down some. Okay. When was the last time you saw your wife? Around 8.30. The card game at Bobby's was wrapping up. I played out my hand and drove home here. I paid the sitter and went to bed. Yeah, given that you have boot with mud and a soaking jacket, I'm going to say that's a lie. Yeah, he's managing to keep eye contact, but we have evidence that says uh, that says otherwise. So he is lying? Yeah, yeah he's, he's lying. Just, he's just managing to, well, keep keep a poker face. He said he was playing cards, and poker is the most common thing, so uh, I'm calling your bluff. You're lying, Lars. You didn't come straight home, did you? And how do you figure that? All of this? You were out in the rain. You got soaked, Lars. We found your wet weather gear. Okay, I stayed a little later than I said. This cute little brunette was hitting on me. <laughs> Teresa noticed. I was half cut. I walked her home from Bobby's, but nothing happened. I walked back and got the car this morning. Thanks for answering our questions, Mr. Charlton. You'll need to go downtown to identify your wet spot. I should have taken her dancing. In my experience, Mac, if you give in to Braj, you'll be giving in to them your entire life. Shut up, Rusty, or he's going to smack you. Story, right? Call in, get some uniforms dispatched to check out his alibi. Okay, and let's actually, instead of that... Believe this guy's story? Kind of rings true. Maybe. Either way, we need to check the alibi. This uh, Bobby Ross character. Before we do that... I need to go over the case notes. Let's travel to a new right. location. That should force headed? a save. Yes, I don't want to redo too many things yet. Yeah, 
Sir, your hat looks a bit oversized, or it looked oversized from that angle. <laughs> okay. Should just be a case of collecting evidence here, nothing too special. Mm, let's see, any signs of saving? Yep, there we go. There it is. Okay, and with that, let's head out. Okay. Good progress, we got a case done. Uh, we put uh, a few people behind bars. And, yeah, that'll be that we for today. We made a guy's colon go up his throat. <laughs> yeah. All right. There. And we are going over here so we can go look for someone to raid. So let me change the screen share. Uh, to the top, uh, to um, Twitch. I hmm. don't really have anything else. So thanks, Tatum, for showing up. I'm going to go ahead and leave. I'm kind of want to finish my lunch and sleep okay thanks enjoy thanks and have a good you. night have a good night everybody <laughs> and see Stay you next time and have a good feast okay <laughs> hang on i, I want to do something <laughs> that's the only sound i'm allowed <laughs> wait no that's hang on <laughs> yep, turns out I'm, I'm allowed that. Okay, later. Later. <laughs> later. <laughs> okay, I am going to poke him if he has any suggestions. Wilhelm Scream, you suggested. But for now, let's have a look. We have Reef the Leaf, who is playing Breath of Fire 3. They moved on from Breath of Fire 2, it seems. Swalbe is playing Team Fortress 2. Black Shadow, I don't think we've seen them on in quite a while. They are streaming the Texas Chainsaw, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Okay, uh, everything is muted. I didn't know there was a game of that. Let me see. Is that another Dead by Daylight like? Uh, yeah, looks like it. Okay. Mm. Yeah, there, this market is a little bit oversaturated with things like that, like uh, uh, Friday the Thirteenth. Uh, I think Freddy Krueger. Actually, wasn't he Freddy? Uh, yeah, Friday the Thirteenth was Jason Voorhees. Then Freddy Krueger got his own. Then um... you know, out of the, from out of space, all go to the familiar and Evil Dead. That's what like I'm yep, happy was, to that... be in games of those old movies. I'm happy for that. But why does all of them have to copy the same game? Yeah, because well, they're all slasher style so yeah it, it sadly oversaturates the market but most of these i have seen take on at least interesting things and uh so i'm a bit curious about this one how they do things differently uh next up we have jimmy mcginger who is streaming uh <clears throat> xenogears lazarus is playing abzu Wait, is this what i, I think Ages. I heard Let's of it, but I never see. watched it though. Okay, because we played Journey and it was still okay. This I think this I think I saw this one somewhat recently with someone else. I'm blanking on our name at the moment. And I think I, they finished it because they are two hours in and they're showing their desktop. Nice desktop, by the way. Uh let's see. Oh no, are they starting something up? Okay, I guess something must must have happened. Okay, no, this is not that game I was thinking of, it seems. Unless they're changing the title and stuff. Anyways, Redacted Cat is playing Rise of the Triad Ludicrous Edition. I'm Nice is still playing Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, Chubbers the Moon Steel is also playing Breath of the Wild still. WBPL is streaming Dark Cloud 2. Let me take a peek at that. Okay, one of these old RPGs. <laughs> and uh, apparent. Okay, I, just a random thing from the chat here. I'm guessing yeah, this game. That. Yeah, I'm guessing this is one of those games that uses guilders as the currency, which uh, well <laughs> is. I'll I'll quote this uh, commenter here uh, from the hidden boss. Guilder, a gold or silver coin formerly used in the Netherlands, Germany, and Austria. Yeah. In Dutch, we called those gulden. 
which would probably mean just gilded if you translate it directly, but gilder is close enough. Uh, let's see. Next up, we have Halloween, who is streaming Metroid Other M, which, well, <laughs> if you ask certain people, would make a perfect Halloween game to play with how low, well, how less in quality that game is compared to other Metroid games, or at least the writing is. That's a real terror. Uh, nice that they tried to be more cinematic with the series, but they they crashed and burned with their portrayal of yeah, Samus with it. Just, uh, not to say that Samus can't be vulnerable and such, it's just that uh, they could have done it better. Anyways, and last but not least, we have Touch Scaly Tail, who is still doing their 12 hours of roguelites. Let's see it. And they're on our number five. Uh, oh, they're on a break. Uh, Okay, that's just an ostrich giving birth, apparently. They just put up clips or something, so let's skip away from that. Uh, let's see. Any one of those sound interesting to you? I'm personally thinking uh, Black Shadow with Texas Chainsaw or Lazarus with Abzu. I'm thinking about Dark Cloud 2 or Texas Chainsaw. Okay, Texas Chainsaw then, since we both pointed to that. Yep. Okay, copy, then head to our place, slash raid and paste. And uh, yeah, with that, uh, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Tomorrow we'll have one of our days off, and then on Tuesday we will, yeah, we will be continuing with uh, <clears throat> Doom Eternal The Ancient Gods DLC. I get the feeling we're close to the end of part one, so we'll probably be moving on to part two. And we'll see how long that lasts. Uh, but yeah, let's see. Uh, thank you, Tatum and Sensei, for being here. And let's see, no Marco this time. And so, thank you as always, Drake here. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank and, you yeah. all for joining. Uh, yeah, a bit of a different day with this, with uh, no showcase, but more Everlands. But that just means that next week we will have another showcase. And yeah, uh, I've at least some, I've hopefully solved our little Bluetooth problem, at least with my headset and controller, with yeah less power being diverted to other things. We'll see if that works next time we stream Dave the Diver, though. But yeah. yeah. For now, let's start that raid. It is not being blocked. Uh, oh, this channel has follower or subscriber only chats. Um, okay, I canceled the raid. So we still go there or someone else then? I like. I understand why people have it that way, but it's not really a a friendly. Uh, it, yeah, it doesn't really okay. come across as friendly. Okay, Absu or Dark Cloud then. Uh, let's see, the, the, the WB. Uh, Lasher has watched along with us. Oh, this game now we recognize. It's the diving one. It's a, it's a far more chill Subnautica. But yeah, since they, since they watched earlier today, might as well give them a visit. So slash rate Lasherus and let's start. Okay, I, I like that they give a warning of that now. <clears throat> okay. Oh yeah. Uh yeah. Thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for zombie seagulls. <laughs> yeah, that's just going to keep uh, stacking on with stuff, isn't it? Just zombies, then just <laughs> skeletal, whatever. <laughs> until next time, people. <laughs> until next time.